G'day, g'day from the beautiful Kilcare Beach. Well, today I've came down to uh, do a painting. I painted that before. I uh, haven't filmed it, I don't think. And I've painted a few wave scenes and things like that. But what, I, what actually I want to paint today, what actually caught me was up here. I just hit up here. I've got a couple of mates painting with me today, but I um I won't bother them. I don't want to crowd them with a camera, the paparazzi. So yeah, I'll just um show you guys what I'm looking at up here. So yeah, what I want to do is have a go at painting this subject here. The eroded bank here with the banks of your tree. Not so much what's up there, but um just along here, try and get a bit of depth for that and create a bit of light. So yeah, that's the plan. Got my board set up here. I'm using my basic colours, which I haven't put on here yet, but um, yeah, no water in this one, even though I'm at the beach. So uh, a sandy subject, but um, beautiful day, quite warm. Uh, it's only about 9 a.m., but it's gonna get about 30 degrees or so. Not too hot, but yeah, not too, not too cool either. But anyway, let's paint. Okay, so I've got the composition in place. This is what I'm looking at. So basically I've got, this is the foreground here, which you can just see just there, the foreground, and then it goes off into the distance. So basically the banks here, and then it goes off, there's another bank there. And then if you look, I'm not gonna put too much detail in the, in the distance. I, I'll probably put some rooftops of houses or an impression of that and as it comes around there. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm looking at. And um, so yeah, let's get started and I'll start with the sky. Beat water, eh? Okay, that just about do the sky. Okay, what I'll do now is I'll get the distance in. The distance that you can see along there, basically, it's just a soft green, a warm green. I'll probably use Viridian and uh, Yellow Ochre for that. And I'll put an impression of, um, there is some houses up there. I will um, put an impression of some houses in as well. So be along here.
Okay, so what, I, what I've done, as you can see, I've got a impression of some houses in there. What I'm going to do is get some sand in, then I'll work on the dark area here. Okay, it's coming along, so let's have a look. So I've got the, there's like a surf club here, pushing of that in, but you actually sort of won't see it because the tree's gonna be in front of it. And uh, impression of some houses and that there. So basically I'll get the darkest darks in here, in the tree area, work on that, and then work on the, um, the two uh, banks here and put some rocks in and uh yeah we'll wrap it up there's just some trees along here i'll just pop those in
Okay, what I want to do is get the highlight of this grass in. I will um, just tie that up a little bit. Okay. Spectrum Cadium. Some white. It's very yellow, so we'll tame it down. I want that that grass when you see it first thing in the morning not golden hour not quite golden hour it's actually got a little bit of warmth in it yeah looking good Okay, I'll get these branches in so we sort of can see what we're looking at. Okay, I'm going to do the highlights of this tree, or these trees.
Okay, you can see this area here. I've put too much highlight, so I'm going to make up some dark and um, pop that back in. Just going to add some dark, ultra and blue, the burnt sienna ingredient. A little bit of cad scarlet. There you go. Yeah, Never mate. Painted, yeah, and it's always something I kind of think I'd enjoy. Oh yeah. So yeah. when you're creating this, yeah, if you create something you're not quite happy with, do you take it away and then do it again, or do you, you just can. add? With with oil paint, if I'm not happy with that, I can scrape you can, it. You can with the palette knife, yeah. and then you can do do it again. Yeah. See, when you see some of the great paintings, I wonder if that if it's built up in layers. Yeah. Would it yeah. be? I, yeah. I, I suppose it again. It depends on the material. Yeah. It? You normally start at the back and work your way back yeah. and you build it up as you, as you go yeah. and yeah. then um yeah and if you're not happy some you know rub it out and redo yeah, and go it again. yeah but yeah. with acrylic and watercolor you can't really acrylic you can you so can just go over it but yeah. with watercolor you, yeah, that's it's finished it. yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah. oil is very forgiving yeah 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 it's really good so oil. do you do it as much for relaxation as you do for I mean, selling paintings or yeah, yeah. I sell them and um, I do it. Uh, I've got a YouTube channel. I do oh, it for a you? hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's just me life. Yeah, I love Great. it. Yeah. Great. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks, buddy. Okay, to wrap it up, get these um, this area in here. It's a uh, these um, what do you call them? Uh, these banks here, they're sandy, but they're also brown. Got a bit of warmth in them. Okay, I'm just about done. What I'm going to do... Put some flag... I was going to put the tower and the board and all that in. But um, I might do that. But um, definitely get these flags in, the yellow flags. So I'll get that happening now.
and there's a there's a board up there lifesaver board first of all more darker than that There's a lifeguard tower. Question of that. Okay, I'll just finish this off and show you guys at the end. Okay, I've done the painting at beautiful Kilcare Beach. What a beautiful place it is to come and paint and relax. So anyway, yeah, there you go. There's the painting. Chuck the board in here. A little bit of uh, impressionistic, some flags, a little bit of a tower. Pretty loose, not too detailed. But yeah, there she is. Could have done a bit more here, started to get a bit messy, but um, no excuses. But um, yeah, I'll think about that and um, I'll probably come and um, try it again one day with a bigger uh, board, of course. So yeah, there's the painting. Tell me what you think in the comments. Thanks for coming along. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.